Okay, so reviewing the GoPro Hero Black 7. Um, so this is what I plan on doing most of the vlogging on now. Haven't really tested it out yet, but that'll be in uh, the further clips. Right now, this is unopened, but I did a, some research on it, and I'll let you know why I went with this one versus some of the other options or vlog cameras. So first off, uh, get it on sale. They have a bunch of sales, different stores. Uh, the max price is like $400. Usually the stores are selling for about $399. Don't do it. Amazon has third party sellers. Um, if you have, there's just deals the other way. Just go for the deals. Um, there's three different types of GoPro Hero 7. Black, white, and gray or silver it's one of those the the gray is the lower end then there's the white and then there's the black the black um, really is the one you want to go for and here's why it has the hyper smooth feature right so all these gimbals and stuff that you have to get this actually takes away a lot of that um, as well as of the three it's the only one with a front-facing screen that tells you what's going on uh, and then in the back all three have the the touchscreen LCD uh, the white records in 4k 30 frames per second and 1080p 60 frames per second this one records in 4k 60 frames per second as well as all of the below um, audio audio on this thing right so this is why I actually ended up going with this versus buying like a normal vlog camera that has a flip-up screen um, the audio on the hero 7 is said to have been improved drastically uh, over the 6 model I personally have not bought a GoPro since number three so no matter what this thing is gonna be awesome um, it's also waterproof, right? So if you get a vlog camera, you got to buy the outside waterproof case. This is ready to go right now. The only downside is if you want better audio than what this has, it doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter jack for you to plug your uh, mic in. You can buy, it's from what I've seen around, it's like 100 to $200 for the conversion from USB-C to the uh, microphone jack but you have to almost go through the GoPro site because the audio will be messed up if you just use a normal USB-C to 35 or whatever millimeter jack for the microphone um, so those are all the reasons why I went with this so let's go ahead and open her up see what's coming inside of this package and then we'll charge her and I'll allow you, we'll, we'll get into the actual video quality and some of the features um, more. All right, let's open her up. As you can see, blue label here. Let's, it didn't do it all the way. Uh, let's see. Here we go. All right, outside case. seems to oh so right these little floor mounts I've kept them for my previous GoPros just because you can use them as really good stands in themselves you, you don't need uh, all those attachments right off the get-go you can kind of build those up um, looks like a damage replacement and GoPro app instructions so this is pretty easy right pretty simple um, go get the app, install it, hook it up. All right, stickers, GoPro stickers, manual. More than likely, the manual says, "Hey, do a full charge before first use," just like any device that you buy new. Um, so, got an open back, charging cable, sticky mount. There's actually two of them. Uh, 
wondering if this is a spare battery or the only battery. Let's check it out here. So this is just stuck to it. Uh, it does come with a housing case. So let's pull the GoPro actually out. It's just a skeleton case. Uh, it's not like the older GoPros where it's they're fully enclosed. Um, it's literally just a frame because this is all there is. All right, so I'm gonna actually open all right so there's a button there at the bottom here let me see here there's a button there right at the bottom you just push it in slide this compartment open and so it does come with just the one battery um, the SD slot so this is different from the older models as well is the, the card is actually right here in the battery compartment as well um, so that's different that's cool What's this on the side? So I got another button here. I'm gonna push that. Same thing as the battery compartment. All right, so as I drop my new camera, it's okay. Um, so here is your HDMI and your USB port. So that's where you're gonna charge it as well. So I'm gonna charge this thing up and we'll see how it goes. All right, so this, okay, so this is the audio coming from my phone microphone setup. And now this is the audio coming from the GoPro setup. Um, just showing you guys the flip back and forth. This is the audio over here, me talking through it through the microphone. And this is the audio over here through the GoPro. I have both set up, so I have the GoPro set up at 1080, or sorry, uh, yeah, 1080, 60 frames per second, so it's about the same as what my video's recording on the other side here. Let's hop back. So, differences, um, that's the difference in the video. I'm actually gonna come back and readdress the GoPro after I've filmed with it for a little bit, and then leave a final little clip of my review and thoughts of it. Bring it back, we, uh, we've been using this to vlog our, our weekend and week. I love it. Um, straight up great, I, I ended up getting a little attachment floaty grip, uh, because you will see on, not this Thursday, but following Thursday, me use this a lot. Um, this Thursday, you'll see a lot of it is recorded straight from this GoPro. Tons and tons of great audio. Uh, I do actually use it for some underwater stuff. Uh, did great there. The only thing was that this lens fogged up a little bit from going from underwater to above water, so I had to watch that. And then, uh, if you start recording like this it'll record sideways profile and that's not the wide shot that you can um, transfer very well so make sure that when you hit the record button it's facing this way uh, some of the other cool features that I ended up finding out about was like the video time lapse where it'll take like small uh, or longer almost photos and combine them in and it has that auto feature in here It'll also separate your audio from your video file in case you want to do some sort of audio mixing uh, easier. What else? Um, this thing's just a beast, and I don't think I could recommend this enough. Uh, if you want to grab yours, check the link below. Uh, you can pick it up on Amazon from one of those affiliates. Like I mentioned, for a cheaper price, uh, don't buy it full bone. I think there's a sale actually going on in most stores right now for this version. That's it for the uh, review for the GoPro Hero 7. Go ahead and pick yours up, and I hope you have a great time with it if you do choose to go this direction. <laughs>